Clubhouse, the popular social audio on the app, announced Wednesday that it will not be attending this year's South by Southwest, South by Southwest, conference in Austin, Texas, because of the state's attempt to limit gender-affirming care for transgender youths. We realized we wouldn't feel comfortable asking LGBTQ. The audio-based app launched initially in April 2020, gaining popularity among users in the early months of the COVID-19 pandemic. Users on Clubhouse are able to browse through the app's hallway and can enter into virtual rooms to listen in as room moderators and guests talk. High-profile names such as Oprah Winfrey, Drake, Tesla CEO Elon Musk and Meta's Mark Zuckerberg are users of the app. The platform hosted up to 10 million active users weekly, according to Think Impact. In lieu of attending this year's conference, Clubhouse says it will hold its panel the power of voice on its platform. Additionally, the platform stated it will donate the travel costs associated with the conference instead to local organizations while also holding a series of Clubhouse conversations, known as Clubhouse Rooms, supporting transgender speakers and creators. This was an easy decision and well command. Along with the support and safe space the platform is giving to its LGBTQ speakers and clubs online, Clubhouse's community guidelines outline a strong stance against unruly behavior, emphasizing no tolerance for hatred, or, discrimination, against based on things like race, religion, national original. News of the platform's withdrawal from the annual conference and festival comes after organizers for South by Southwest denounced Texas governor. Greg Abbott's recent orders to investigate parents and doctors who provide trans children with gender-affirming care. South by Southwest stands against discriminatory legislation and supports the LGBTQ community, a spokesperson for South by Southwest told the Austin American Statesman. The governor's latest directive puts trans children in harm's way once again, and we unequivocally condemn this action. This year's South by Southwest Festival and Conference will make its first in-person return after two years of being virtual due to the COVID-19 pandemic from March 11th to March 20th.